So you like pixels and you like fonts. Let's put them together and make a pixel font. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Libra Sprite today. We're taking a look at uh, some pixel art, uh, but specifically, we don't need this preview, but specifically, uh, pixel art font. And I love pixel art font. It looks great. It, uh, it, it is great. We're gonna get started today. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start off with some uh, with a dark color here. This dark color that I love so so much. Um, the uh, hex value is two 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 zero three four. If you do not have this palette, and the palette I think is what palette is? I don't remember what palette this is. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking it's the DB thirty two. Yeah, I think it's DB thirty two. Yeah, it's DB32. So the palette is DB32. It comes with uh, Libra Sprite. Uh, so let's get started with this. So what I want to do first is uh, I will start with A, of course. Um, and let me turn the grid on for this, actually. We'll turn the, gr the grid on and we'll... Uh, that, what was that? Was that view? Grid? Yeah. Width. Width. Uh, both on one. So now we have that grid, which is nice. Um, so that looks good like that. So I want to I wanna be able to measure things. Um, so we'll go across, maybe, perhaps, you know what I'll do is, I'll start with the white, we'll start, we'll start off with the white, um, to get a feel for what's going on here, I want to make them kind of small, to start off with, um, because it is pixel art, you know, I like, I like small pixel art, it looks good, so we'll just start off with the white, and we'll just go through, and, um, and maybe do something, see, we're gonna have to make this one longer, yeah, see, I want to be able to, I want to make sure that every single, uh, letter that needs uh, at least three spaces because like we can't make a B with just you know with three pixels it needs to be at least what is that what five it needs to be at least five pixels that's the that's the big thing here so uh, now that I know we're gonna need at least five pixels uh, across then we can go ahead and uh, continue with the rest of the letters pretty easily I'm trying to keep them all three uh, wide and five five up and down so I kind of want to stick with the theme here, um, so that once again that's three pixels wide, and then we can just uh, keep going. I'm not going to continue all the way down the alphabet though. So what I want to do is we'll go ahead and turn that grid off now, since we don't need it anymore. Uh, just back to 16, 16. By the way, my canvas size is uh, 64 by 64, but doesn't doesn't necessarily matter to to create pixel font. Oh, there we go. Let's do that instead. All right. So now we have our letters. Um, you know, I want to actually round. Can I round this? Can I, can I, can I, can I, no? What, why is that not working? What? Hmm. My eraser's not working. I don't know what that is. Oh no. What's happened? Okay. Well, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a white color, uh, take our white color and then go a little bit to the blue. I want to do a little blue, a little darker of a blue here. Um, you know, get something right about, right around there. And the cool thing about this is we can just go ahead and uh, and place this. You know what? There's something weird going on here. There, there is. Snap to grid is on. That's why. All right. <laughs> I was wondering what's going on with that. That was crazy. All right. So uh, do I want to get rid? Yeah, I want to get rid of those for the C, but I do want to keep these for the A, right? Nah, we'll 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 we'll, we'll get all we'll get rid of all of them. Um, actually, you know what? We'll leave them. We'll leave them because I want to go ahead and do some anti-aliasing like that on the edges there which I think looks pretty cool so we'll do something like that for all of the edges um, does that look like a D or an O yeah we'll, we'll undo that it looks like it looks like a, it looks like a O alright so that looks pretty cool and pretty much I'm only doing this where uh, pixels connect to other lines so like this line connects to this line so I do it there um, so I'm not gonna just like put one in the middle of the C right there actually it looks kinda good but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> Um, there, I could, I could do that on like literally all of these pieces because they all connect something else, but I'm not going to because that's just way overkill. Um, so yeah, I like the way that looks a lot. So let's let's go ahead and of course I would do this for the rest of the letters as well, but I'm not going to continue with the rest of the letters because that's just way too many letters to do. Um, but what we'll do is like I said, I'll take this this uh, this darker purplish color that we had before, and I'll just oh, and I'll just go ahead and outline our uh, our characters of course we're gonna have to have more space in between these if we were trying to use this as an actual font because then you know it, they can't nothing can share a, a pixel so we need to have that double edge right there so that they're um, so that they're not touching pretty much so we'll go ahead and fix that up I do not like the way this looks though 
uh, with the B. So let's go ahead and space these out. Ooh, let's go ahead and space these out the way they're supposed to be. I'm t I just grabbed the marquee tool there right there. I'm just going to pull these apart um, so there's one pixel in between each one of them. So we have a little bit of space to work with here. Uh, there we go. Looking good. Select, deselect, um, and we'll go ahead and just uh, fill all this in. And I think I want this to be a solid, a solid border all the way around, because uh, with pixel art, especially the small character pixel art, um, you know things start to get um, kind of choppy. Like I mean, this just does not look good for the bee. It doesn't even look like a bee anymore. It just looks crazy. So we'll go ahead and fill all that in. Um, and the same thing with the D here. We want to go all the way around. I think I could actually get away with doing something like this with the D, but since we already have a theme, let's just stick with it. <laughs> uh, same thing with the E here. Um, yeah, that looks that looks great. I love that. And we can even do a little bit a little bit of anti-aliasing to the actual border itself. I think this border is a little too dark. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and go up to repa replace color, and I'll replace this from that color. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, drag it, drag the two to the from to get the same color, and then we can just go ahead and then just lighten it up a little bit, something like that, and maybe desaturate a little bit, maybe saturate a little bit, yeah, hue shift a little more to blue, yeah, that looks good, and then we'll, we'll hit OK. So now we have a little bit lighter of a, of a color, and it's a little more blue now. I always hit P to eye drop when I meant to hit I, so we'll go ahead and hit I to eye drop that color right there. And then over on the left hand side, we'll just drop the color down diagonally to the right hand side. And maybe we'll hue shift it a little bit to the right as well. There we go. So we can be, oh, maybe that's a little too far. Maybe we'll go the other way. Yeah, that, that, that looks good. All right. Uh, so what is that color? Uh, 273148. Perfect. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll, I'll do the anti aliasing for uh, the the border itself now. So that looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm just going just going through trying to pick areas where I want to put the anti aliasing. I mean, I could actually put it here instead of on this pixel. I could have done that, but um, but I want to put it there. So it just looks better in some places rather than others. Uh, most of the time, it doesn't look too good right up next to the the character or the letter or whatever it is. Um, so I try I try and keep it on the corners only. Um, and we could do the cor the inside corners as well. Um, for instance, I could put one there as well, but I think I think we'll leave that for the C. I think I like that actually. We'll do the same thing for the D over here. Like I said, I could put it there, but I just don't like the way it looks, so I'll put them there instead. Um, you don't want to have three in a row. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look very good. Um, so there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and do the E as well, and one there, 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 and there. That looks good. So now we have the anti-aliasing for the letters themselves, for the borders. And I do want to do a little bit of a special thing here. Well, I drop that the darker color, the anti-aliasing border color, and then we'll drop that color down even further here, right? And then we'll go ahead and paint with that. And now we can just go ahead and do a little bit of the 3D effect, which I think looks pretty cool. So we'll just put the darker color underneath every single place where the letters are over overhanging. So like anytime there's a a, a, a place where you would think there would be 3D at then you go ahead and put that darker color. That's supposed to represent the uh, the 3D aspect of the, the letters there. And that looks pretty good. I like that. I think it needs to be a little darker though, so we'll go up to Edit, Replace Color, and then we'll, once again, we will uh, eye drop from this color, and then we'll eye drop, to, no, 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 backwards, <laughs> backwards. We'll eye drop that color, and then we'll go from the to to the from, looking good, and then we'll just drop the uh, drop the darkness down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I like it. 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 And we can even anti-alias <laughs> the darker color here. You can see we have a bit of a darker color. Let me go ahead and desaturate. There we go. We can even anti-alias this bad boy, which is insane. It's just like so much of that going on. It's craziness, but uh, but yeah, that is it. Uh, really fun to create, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye bye.